five bands, one antenna, and three elements. And they're all going to be linked together. So when I change, I just unlink and link. Today, we are going to go over antenna theory for in-fed halfway antennas. I'm going to do the math, and then on a later video, I am going to build it for you and prove it out. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be building an in-fed 49 to 1 half wave antenna. Since it is a half wave, it's, the properties of it are going to be very similar or close to a dipole antenna. Let me show you what the kind of the differences are. A dipole antenna has two elements to it and it's fed in the middle. One side of the antenna is positive and the other side is negative. Now we are going to be using a end fed. So that's going to be fed from the end. For whatever band you're going to be cutting it to, this is, we're going to do a half wave. So the whole antenna itself is a half wave of whatever frequency we're going to be operating. But on a dipole, each element is halved again to a quarter wave. It's a quarter of that wavelength. But on the end fed itself, we don't need, we're not going to be cutting in the middle. We're going to use the whole half wave for the antenna. So our targeting bands, if I could type right, is going to be 10 meters, 15 meters, 17 meters, 20 meters, and 40 meters. Let's go ahead now and look at what frequency we want to use for the ultimate residence for that particular band. I am just going to be using single sideband, so I am only going to be looking at the foam portions of that particular band. So let's go ahead and start at the bottom of 10 meters. 10 meters foam portion is, and it is defined as 28.3 to 29.7. Wow, that is a big range. And how, how much of the bandwidth of spectrum that is. So let's do some math here. This is going to be very math heavy. Uh, let's figure out how much is that. So that's 29.7 minus 28.3. So that's 1.4 megahertz of spectrum we are allotted for the foam portion. Next. So now we know how big that spectrum is. And we want to find the halfway point. So we divide it by 2. 0.7. Then we add that 0.7 back to the bottom end of the phone portion. 29. 29 megahertz is what I'm going to be targeting for my most resonant point on 10 meters. I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. 29 megahertz. And then we're just going to do the same thing for 15. So let's go ahead and look at 15. And we're going to do the same math again. 21.45 minus 21.2. We have 0.25 megahertz. Divide that by two. That makes sense. And then we're gonna add that back to 21.2. And we found it to be 21.325. That, that makes sense. And we're so on and so on. And there we go. We have all the uh, resonance frequencies I am targeting for. Since we have this up, let's talk a little bit about harmonics. So we're dealing with half wave, so I'm doing a deal with half and whole harmonics. That means if we double the length of the wire we have, that would be a full wave. And in some of these frequencies, we can look at and see that 20 and 10 is almost double that size. So let's go ahead and double what our targeting frequency for 10 is, or 20 is. That's pretty close. So that will give us a frequency of 28.48 megahertz. That, and that's gonna be right in the middle is of our band allocations for 10 meters. So that means I don't need to cut a 10 meter antenna. It's already resonant on 20 same thing's kind of true with 40 and 20. Let's go ahead and put in the 40 frequency that we're looking at and multiply it by 2. Our resonance frequency for the dipole for 40 meters that I'm going to cut is going to fall out the bound allocations on 20. So I'm going to need a tuner. But when I am going to be playing radio on 20, I really don't want to put up a whole long 40 meter element. So I'm going to cut a 20. Something interesting happens with 15 meters. 
15 meters is actually a harmonics of three or a multiple of three so that's going to be one and a half lengths for 15 meters uh, when we have our 40 meter element up so let's go ahead and do the math real fast for our resonance frequency of targeting then multiply that by three and that's going to give me 21.63 megahertz and that's just outside the allotted bandwidth allocation so if I'm going to be playing on 15 meters a tuner should correct that pretty easily so I'm not going to be cutting a 15 17 um it's just weird I'm going to cut a 17 so the elements I'm going to cut now there's going to be 17 meters, 20 meters, and 40 meters. With these three elements, we're going to have five bands. On 20, I'm going to be able to work 10. 40, I'm going to be able to work 15. And I'm going to have an element just for 17. So five bands, one antenna, and three elements. And they're all going to be linked together. So when I change, I just unlink and link. It's going to be that easy. So let's figure out how long of the antenna lengths are going to be. We're going to have to do a little bit more math here. There is one magic number I'm going to be using. And this number is on our test. It's 468. And this number we're going to be using to find the antenna lengths in feet. Sorry, I'm in the US, we use feet. And the formula is we're going to this magic number and we're going to divide it by the frequency that we're targeting to be resident. And that's going to tell us how many feet that antenna element's going to need to be for that particular band. And I'm going to leave a link in the description for the article I found this number in. Um, I'm not going to dive into this particular magic number. Just know it's a magic number. So we're going to take 468 and divide it by our 17 megahertz frequency of 18.13. And that's going to be 25 foot and to find how many inches I am going to take 12 then multiply it by 0.8 and that's going to tell me so 25 foot and 9.6 inches for element number one element number two same math we're going to put down that as 32.84 final element 40 so if we were going to cut individual elements for each of these bands, these are the lengths we're going to have to 25 feet, nine inches. I'm rounding 32 feet, 10 inches and 64 feet, 10 inches. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to have it linked. So let me show you. There's going to be the feed line coming up from the ground. Then the first band is going to be 17. Then the next band is going to be a 20 meter section and the final band is going to be a long one a 40 meter section so that means we're going to cut the initial element for 17 perfectly and get a resident and then we're going to cut a another smaller section for 20 so 20 is going to be 17 element plus the addition for 20 the 40 meter element is going to be 17 plus the 20 then plus the little bit left over we're going to need for 40. So the first one's just going to be pretty easy. We're just going to cut and paste this guy. Then for the 20 meter element, it needs to be 32.84 minus, because we already have a 25 foot, 0.8 foot element already out there. So it means I'm actually just going to need 7.04 feet. And the final 40 meter one is going to be 64.88 minus the 25.8 element minus the 7.04 element the leftover is going to be 32.4 again let's go ahead and calculate this out to feet and inches so 25 foot all right next one it's going to be a seven foot 12 multiplied by 0.04 that's like an inch we're going to put it down there for completeness but we're going to cut these elements long so i'm going to add like a couple inches to the end of all these but these are just for the exact numbers last one 32 oh look 0.4 our friend that's it 
Next, we're gonna look at what I bought to do this. I'm looking at 20 gauge wire. I put the links in the descriptions below here. Um, and I think that would be enough flexibility and where I can put it up in the tree nicely and take it down and wind it up. I chose yellow because people walk into wires all the time. They're still gonna walk into yellow. Um, next, I got these crimpers set here. This set is able to go to 22 to 10 gauge. And these are just ones that you easily push into each other. Um, this has both male and female. And I just gotta wait, they'll be delivered tomorrow. That, that, that's all I got for y'all today. So I hope you enjoyed the theory. I will love to put this together, but it'll be next video. I'll put it together. I go out to the park and I will go ahead and activate with it and see how well it does. Plus I gotta really tune it all. And that's gonna be fun, but next video. Till next time, y'all. Go forth and conquer. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. You can support me on Patreon. There is a link in the description below. And to all my tankers out there, go forth and conquer.